Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and First Lady Jill Biden had an absolute meltdown in the middle of a morning talk show this morning when she was confronted with reality. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So a new Wall Street Journal poll showed that Trump is leading by significant margins in every single swing state except Wisconsin for whatever reason. But he's he's leading in every single swing state. It's it's brutal right now. Now, who knows what happens between now and November? We don't know. But we do know that right now today, he's leading and Jill Biden, she's not facing reality. So when she's confronted by a talk show host with this this morning on CBS Mornings, she absolutely starts shouting and scream like, no, 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 that's not true. It's it's hilarious. You guys have to watch this. And then watch what comes right after that. And you'll see why she looks as ridiculous as I say she does. Please watch this video and then like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. But when these polls like the Wall Street Journal one land in the White House and he's losing in all the battleground states. That... No, he's not losing in all the battleground all but one. states. He's coming up and he's um, uh, even or doing better. So, mm. you know what? Once people start to focus in and they see their two choices, mm -hmm. it's obvious that Joe will win this election. All right. A few minutes later, the Wall Street Journal released new polling from swing states. And as you can see here, a lot of red. Donald Trump leading President Biden in six of seven swing states. Only in Wisconsin does President Biden hold a very small lead. With us now, CNN senior data reporter Harry Enton. And the question, Harry, is why? What are you seeing underneath the numbers that might contribute to these leads for Donald Trump, particularly when it comes to support for President Biden among Democrats? Yeah, you know, let's take a look here. So this is approval among Democrats on Biden's handling of a lot of different issues here. The economy, Russia, Ukraine, pretty good, right? 81%. Jump down to foreign policy, you see this drop to 65%. Gun violence, 60%. U.S.-Mexico border, 58%. These are not good numbers for a Democrat amongst his own party. But look here, the Israel-Hamas war, look at that approval rating. Less than 50% of Democrats are approving on Joe Biden on the Israel-Hamas war. And more than that, John, these numbers have gotten significantly worse. So this is Democrats' views of Biden on the Israel-Hamas war. Look back in October of 2023, it was 67%. Look where we are today, 48%. That disapproved number, number look at that, jumped up from 28% in October of 2023 to 46%. Now, this is within the margin of error. Democrats are split on Joe Biden's handling of the Israel-Hamas war. John, you know I look at poll numbers a lot. For a president to be doing this poorly amongst his own party on any issue is quite something to say. Very unusual. The question is, will this translate to actual votes? Yeah, will this translate to actual votes? All right, so let's take a look here. This is Democrats' choice for president, all right? If you like Biden's handling of the Israel-Hamas war, look here. Joe Biden, 94%. Donald Trump, 2%. That's about what you'd expect to see, right? A very large lead for the Democratic candidate. Maybe just a few Democratic voters going in the other direction. But take a look here. If you dislike Biden on the Israel-Hamas war, look, Joe Biden's still getting the lion's share of these voters at 81%. But this is a significant chunk of Democratic voters who are going in the other direction. 15%. So what essentially we're looking at here is a 66-point margin versus, look here, a 92-point yeah. margin. You can't